So we're live. Bonjour, dear friends. I think we need all to have a toast together with our wonderful glass of wine. Marnie, Laurie, Jason, Travis, Rajmin, Dr. Tora, Dr. Sanders, Jen, Melissa. Look at that. You all looking so fabulous. So Marnie, tell us, what are you drinking? Well, I have something unusual in my glass. It's a French columbard, a grape that's not commonly grown in California. But you know what I have in my glass. We are here today to launch a new project. And this is one of our exciting November wines. Isn't that right, Jean-Charles? Absolutely. So we want to welcome everybody to this new, phenomenal, extraordinaire, and very exciting joie de vie. Joie de vie. How do we pronounce it, Marnie? Joie? Joie de vie. But, you know, anybody who wants to pronounce it should pronounce it the way it feels right to them. At the reality, the, the great thing about the French language is that it's expressing emotion overall. So however it sounds coming out of your mouth, joie de vie is all about passion for life, joy that you take in living. And we want this new wine club to bring joy to your wine life as well. It's very well said, and joie de vie is all about the joy of life, which could be represented in so many different ways. And, you know, all of us represent joie de vie differently. It could be by drawing, by designing, by painting, by playing music, by cooking, by being on the couch with lovely friends, by having a picnic, Joie is about the joy. And we are so lucky, Marnie and all of you, dear friends, to welcome you in our world because we celebrate with the gift of God, which is what I'm holding in my hand here. As you could see, we <laughs> all have it. This is the beautiful wine glass that is the catalyst of all the joy we have and all the pleasures we have. So Marnie. Well, and of course, wine is that sauce on the side that brings joy to anything else that you do in your life, whether you are a painter, an artist, a musician, whether you prefer to cook or to do gardening, whatever it is, wine is that thing that helps bring us together across tables and across oceans. And that is why we're so thrilled to be launching this new wine club. So do you mind, John Charles, if I give people a quick sense, a quick overview of what the club is about? I think it's a wonderful idea. And then we should go and see how people are celebrating joie themselves. Absolutely. I think that's a fantastic idea. So the Joie de Vie Wine Club is not just a wine club, it's a social club. It's about connecting people through wine, about using wine as a way to enhance the other things that bring joy to your life. And of course, this is something that we have just launched in the month of November. We couldn't be more excited about our new wine club that is monthly with three bottle shipments. And this does make it so much easier to bring this sense. You know, the reality is almost all of us who enjoy drinking wine are having uh, an occasion to pop more than one cork per month. So a little extra joy in your wine life is really something that we are trying to bring with this new membership. And the way it works is that we bring incredible wines from our French and California winemakers to you delivered winery direct every month. These curated selections are selected by myself, the Boisset Sommelier, but of course in consultation with our team of winemakers across two continents to bring a rotation of interesting and delicious discoveries into your home every month. And that wouldn't be enough for a Boisset Wine Club. We want this to be a social club, a place you can come to learn and talk with like-minded adults about something you're passionate about, like wine. You'll be able to join us for wine socials online through our private Facebook group and also get some on-demand on wine lessons at the same time. Really an exciting offer, too, that you can join for only $39 at joadevwine.com. 
So the way that this works is that each month we have three selections that we have chosen so that you'll receive one white, one red, and one unexpected discovery, something that's perfect for that month's wine-worthy occasions. And in the case of your initial shipment, most of the three bottle shipments will ship for $49 plus $10 shipping. But for your initial month, that is only $39 and the first month ships free. So it couldn't be a better time to be signing up for this amazing new Joie de Vie wine club. As for our selections this month, what I have in my glass and what you're enjoying out in Napa Valley as well is a refreshing white. This is from OGC, one of our newest lines of wines named for the Oakville Grocery. It's called The Gardener and it's a 2019 Russian River Valley French Colombard, an unusual grape and an unusual style. The label pays homage to those on our properties who are tending to our biodynamic gardens and to our vineyards as well, because of course, Mother Nature creates the flavors in the grapes, but she has to be carefully tended and defended from all sides. So the gardener is the one who is taking care to make certain that this wine is perfect at the moment of harvest. French Columbard, as I mentioned, is a French grape, but it is in this case coming from Sonoma County's amazing Russian River Valley. Now, OGC takes its name from one of the most historic properties in all of Napa Valley, established in 1881, the Oakville Grocery. It's still a landmark for anyone driving up the storied Highway 29. Stopping at Oakville Grocery for a sandwich for lunch has always been a staple to every Napa Valley wine country visit. But now there's an Oakville wine merchant in the back and even Oakville Grocery wines under the OGC wine label that we're sampling right now. The French Column Gra Bard grape, as I mentioned, is a grape that's mostly seen in wine blends. So we rarely see it named this way on the front label, but that really is a shame. It's one of those varieties that is under-recognized. It comes from the Charente region of France and is one of the ingredients in the region's legendary product, the brandy that the, is called cognac for the name of the region that produces it. But when this same grape variety is grown in a warmer, drier, sunnier place like Russian River Valley, it produces a wildly different flavor profile. French Columbard grown in France tends to be fairly one-dimensional, very sharp, sort of green apple, very tart, almost lemony. However, when grown in the Russian River Valley, what do we get when we swirl and sniff this wine? Is more of an almost tropical quality like guava and passion fruit. It's very electric and alive thanks to that natural acidity that is so snappy in this grape. But gosh, does it make a seductive and delightful, vivacious white wine, perfect for salads and seafoods and most aperitif and daytime occasions. Mm -mm. Fantastic stuff. Now, of course, the best thing about this new wine club is the incredible benefits that go far beyond the amazing wines that you'll find in the glass. This is a club that is joyful, engaging, and social more than anything else. Our wines are authentic and approachable, and I can't wait to share it with you all. I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing and talk to some of our members because we just launched this club a few days ago and already we had a waiting list, a whole group of people signed up. And I think some of the very first members were Dr. Tora and Nina Laris, and they are joining us here from Los Angeles. So Dr. Tora and Nina, welcome. Thank you guys so much for joining us online today to celebrate a little joie de vie. I oh, understand ladies. that you were among the very first members. So maybe you can tell us a little bit about what you found so exciting about the joie de vie concept and how joie de vie, what that means to you. Well, okay, so <laughs> thank you so much for having us. This is so fun and cheers, Marnie, cheers, John Charles. Um, so for me, joie de vie is exactly what we're doing right now. I mean, <clears throat> this is a typical Wednesday for us, right? <laughs> Where we're sitting around with some great wine, some great food, and just like laughing and talking and having a great time. So that's, that's the joy of my life. <laughs> and with some fabulous lipstick, I must say, ladies. And I would love Nina to, to, Nina, what does it mean to you if you use your beautiful voice to oh, tell wow. about from a song? Uh, 
it's um it's fun it's flirty it's entertaining and you know i am an entertainer and i also do love to entertain guests these days our covid monogamous pods mm -hmm. of friends yeah. <laughs> we get together uh intimately so it's wonderful to be able to access such luxurious wines at an affordable price so regularly safely delivered to your door so but um we we love that ladies but nina why don't you use your chords to, to tell us as you sing how much wine makes you sing better give us oh, a demonstration wow. <laughs> it's marvelous joie de vie for me <laughs> cheers yeah. well, nina you're such a great singer that i hope you're gonna, as you enjoy with Dr. Torah tonight, you're gonna craft a little song for Joie de Vie, maybe. Oh, well, she has already like two or three of them, and I have heard all of them. <laughs> we love it, so we want to hear. It. We are sisters with Vino. That's right, sisters with Vino. <laughs> to you, ladies. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. It's wonderful to see you guys. Thank you. Well, that's, that's so fantastic. And I, I have to say, it's been, you know, we've been getting messages from everybody who's so excited to sign up. And a few people have actually already received their shipments. In fact, we invited Jason and Travis to join us because I saw on social media, you guys posted one of the first, you received your Joie de Vie box. And that was so awesome with the beautiful topper in there. You guys were all psyched to get your wine. So I want to hear what you guys, first of all, are thinking how, what Joie de Vie means for you but also have you tasted any of the wines yet uh-huh what do you think <laughs> well yes we have actually we're drinking the french columbard right now we absolutely love it so cheers thank you we're so happy cheers. that we got our shipment well we're super jealous we're waiting i'm waiting for mine and i know nina we're both waiting for ours so Very i'm sure jealous. it's just right around the corner so for <laughs> us i mean joie de vie we uh in you know this the time of corona we are cooking all of the time and we absolutely love to cook we're both vegetarian and uh so joie de vie is the joy of having everyday wine that can pair perfectly with every meal tonight we are having thai food which is mm -hmm. one of travis's favorites it brings such joy to my life what time are we arriving oh come on <laughs> over the door's open it's unlocked <laughs> So we oh, just and of we, course there is also the joy of not having to go shop for wines because we know that can be such a stressful process and having people make suggestions, make selections and provide you with options that you haven't tried before is really one of the things we were trying to accomplish with this club. But my understanding, you guys got the original shipment, but you can make custom choices, right? There are a couple different options that you could have swapped in if you chose, but Absolutely. you decided to go with my selections. I'm feeling very honored here. Well, it looked so delicious. We, we, couldn't, we couldn't help ourselves. But for our next month, we're definitely planning on adding some in because I saw that, well, I mean, we definitely want next month's shipment because it just looks perfect for December. But also, mm -hmm. we saw there's some a little bit of additional things that we can add in. And so uh, we've been eyeing a couple of those lovely bottles that you've allowed us to, to pick and choose from. Well, I'm very, very it's pleased promised. to hear that. And of course, as Yes, Jean-Charles. I was going to say what, um, I think the choice of French Colombard with Thai food is amazing, specifically that peanut coconut sauce, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Anything that you would squeeze lemon or lime into while you're preparing the sauce is going to work brilliantly with an unoaked style of white wine like this one, particularly one that has such racy acidity. This is going to be a great choice too for anything that does have a spicy kick. And if I know you boys in Texas, my guess is that there's a little bit of chili something something happening in oh, that yeah. Thai, Thai hot for sure on occasion, <laughs> right? And so you want something that can cool the palate temperature-wise, but also bring down the heat of the chili peppers with a moderate alcohol content and French Columbard is definitely a grape that fits that to a T. So Marnie, I have a question for Travis and Jason there. So you're cooking tonight, you just by yourself. I could see, is it an aquarium or a TV? Are you going to watch a great movie tonight as well? <laughs> it, it is a TV and it's on the aquarium right now. We, we are, um, we're into some uh, Netflix specials right now. Oh, great. <laughs> we love documentaries. 
Nice. Well, this is Veterans Day as well. So it is a very important day for all of us. Mm -hmm. My grandparents, to great grandparents, to all the people who serve all around the world. I think we need to have a little toast for all of them. And I know you love history. Absolutely. You're probably watching a documentary on history, right? Of course. Yeah. So we were talking about spices, Marnie. We have our beautiful Rajmin who is with us too, I could tell. Maybe we should ask her if yes. what the joie de vie means. Well, I was going to call on Rashmi because I know she wasn't the first one to join and I know she's also not the first one to receive her shipment, but I do know that Rashmi more than almost anyone I know was just dying for us to launch this club. She has been asking for something like this. So we are visiting Rashmi in her home. And did you know, Joe Charles, her sister's name is Joy. So she is also there with her sharing with the wine and bringing her own style of joy to our joie de vie. Joie de vie, everyone. <laughs> We're so excited. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for launching this amazing program, um, Jean Charles and Marnie. And um, you know, and I'm so happy that Joy's here with me because we love our wines. You know, to me, joie de vie really, it, it is joy of life. And, you know, when you really think about it, what is it that we are looking for in life? We are really looking, and in, in, my, in, my, in my case, we're looking for entertaining and traveling, and it's the wine and food lifestyle, the, the, the experience and you know, just enjoying our wonderful wine with great friends and great family. So, joie de vie, everyone. We, we love your definition, Rajmin, and, and we're gonna say, it, as wine has the to realign all our shots. So I think the boat together really lines. Yeah. Unfortunately, with Jean Charles breaking up a little bit, I, I think we should start talking about the other two wines and then we'll come back to him and see if his connection improves a little bit. Because we have two more wines in our Joie de Vie shipment for November to continue on with. And the next one in my glass is the Napa Valley Cabernet, which is super, super exciting to receive in a shipment like this one. So I'm going to just go back to my slides for a moment here and tell you a little bit about this next wine that you have in the glass or will have soon when you join Joie de Vie Wine Club. It's from Durant and Booth, and it is a Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon with a gorgeous package, of course. But this is named for the two founders of one of the most historic businesses in the heart of Napa Valley, established in 1877. Napa Valley is, of course, California's most famous wine appellation with name recognition around the world. And it is especially known for the exceptional quality of this grape variety, Cabernet Sauvignon, because it has amazing terrain and climate for ripening this grape perfectly. The subdistricts of Napa Valley are each known for slightly different qualities that they bring to a mix, but I will tell you this wine is a blend of fruit grown in three key sub appellations in the heart of the valley towards the northern end where red wines thrive. These are Rutherford, St. Helena, and Calistoga, and together that's what gives us the power, the concentration, the oomph, and the heft behind this wine when you take a sip. Mm. It really is a truly spectacular and special wine to discover. And of course, it is Napa Valley's number one grape because of the luxurious, powerful red wines like this one that it can produce. But this is not the only red wine that you would receive in your box if you joined Joie de Vie Wine Club during the month of November. You would also receive a more delicate, delightful French red called Beaujolais Village from Bouchard N.A. Effis. This is one of France's most historic wine companies founded in 1750. The reason we chose this for our unexpected discovery for the month of November is, of course, that we have the Thanksgiving holiday. And even though many of us will not be gathering in as large numbers as perhaps we would in a standard year, many people are still going to be producing roasted turkey for dinner. They'll have some gravy, some mashed 
sweet potatoes, they will have a little cranberry sauce and maybe some roasted vegetables too. And all of those things are one of the classic pairings for Beaujolais style wines, because these lighter reds, when you give it a swirl and a sniff, it has a brighter, lighter strawberry and raspberry kind of a quality to it, and very low levels of that mouth drying tannin that can cause drier, more traditional, heavier reds to clash with the Thanksgiving meal. Bouchard N.A. Ephes is in the heart of bone, as I mentioned, founded in 1750, one of the most historic of Burgundy's wine companies. But this particular wine comes from the Beaujolais, the next region just to the south, a wine region in central France that is closer to France's gastronomic capital, known for its incredible food, the city of Lyon. Gamay is the grape used here, 100% Gamay, and it is a red grape that is uncommonly low in a compound called tannin. That's one of the antioxidants that makes red wines very healthy, but also that gives you a slight drying, leathery sensation on the inside of the palate after you've taken a sip. And that's exactly what can be so challenging at Thanksgiving. So I just wanted to wrap things up by reminding you that with Joie de Vie Wine Club, all good things come in threes with our amazing three packs of wines that arrive every month. And you can also make new friends over a glass of wine. We have wine socials that happen on the first Friday of every month at 4 p.m. Pacific. So first Fridays at four, be sure to join us on our private members only Facebook page to meet other people who are interested in wine, you know, discuss things that we all have in common across the country, regardless of where we live or even which style of wine we like best. And of course, my name is Marnie Old. I'm the Boisset Sommelier, a wine author and educator. You can also join us to learn a little and laugh a lot because we will be having on-demand wine lessons from me, Marnie Old, streamed live on the fourth Friday of every month. And of course, available on demand for the rest of the month for our JDV members, which is super exciting. Our Joie de Vie Wine Club always includes in each shipment one of our imported wines. So the states in red are where Joie de Vie is available. Unfortunately, there are states that do not permit us to ship winery direct with our imported wines. But all of this is just a reason for you to join us for only $39 for your initial, initial shipment at joiedevwine.com. And with that, I'm going to stop sharing and go back to our group because there's one group of people that we have not invited to speak yet. I see you, Boisset Collection. I think there's a party happening there that you don't want to let us in on. Will you drop the curtain and let us meet with you guys? I think you're over there in Yonville, aren't you, in Napa Valley? <laughs> Life is good. Uh oh, they're muted. Oh, I see Jen and Patrick, Melissa and Dylan. Oh my goodness, we have quite the group going there. You guys are having a little joie de vie behind the scenes. There's no party like a boisse party. <laughs> So guys, you are muted, so we can't hear you, but we'd love to hear what joie de vie means to you. <laughs> well, we said lots of brilliant, wow. wonderful wow. things. Ready? Wow. <laughs> you missed one of the great joys of life, which is the pop of a cork. Yeah. That wonderful sound when the oh. bubbles explode, and we know the celebration has begun. So. To everybody, joie de vie! Joie de vie! Joie de vie! Joie de vie! And that is one of the things that will make joie de vie special because we as a company at Boisset specialize in bubbles, French bubbles in particular. There will occasionally be some bottles of French bubbles in your joie de vie shipment. Yay! Oh, and wait, yeah, 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 nothing says well. joy like popping the cork <laughs> on a JCB, right? Oh, yes, exactly. So, look, we have Dr. Sanders and Laurie Turner as well. Mm -hmm. The party continues all around. We love the joie. So, Dr. <laughs> Sanders, tell us what you have the, the beautiful colors of joie the red, the white. And this is a leopard print. We love it. So tell us what joie means to you. Well, right now, joie to me means haute couture rosé. 
<laughs> and that beautiful lavender bottle with the fish nets. Purple's my favorite color. In honor of Joie de V tonight. I'm in red, white, and black. You notice I even have it on my glasses. Ooh, <laughs> wow. I'm sipping on this haute couture rosé. And when you ask what does Joie de V mean to me, it means enjoying life. And one of the ways that I enjoy life is hang out with my friends, whether it be in person and small pandemic pods or like this on Zoom. Mm -hmm. I feel the energy. I feel the love. And then when we're sipping on Boisse wines, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Cheers to that. Cheers. Oh, Dr. Dr. Sanders, what a fabulous definition. We're going to record you because this was quite, quite a phenomenal statement. And now <laughs> next to you, two beautiful ladies. We know Laurie, the fabulous Laurie Turner with her wild tiger hair. Stephanie as well. So ladies, what? tell us about Joie and how you're celebrating yeah. today. Oh, you're on mute. mute. You're on mute. Oh, no. <laughs> um, <clears throat> there we go. Joie de vivre for me means seizing the day, trying something new, taking advantage of every opportunity that is given to you, and saying yes to nearly everything. <laughs> <laughs> and for me, you know, I personally am such a lover of life and I love to share with others and give to others. It's just my nature. And uh, this also gives me the opportunity to give to so many others because I'm giving joie de vivre as gifts to everyone I know for the holidays. <laughs> we did <all> the list. <laughs> this is actually, Laurie, a wonderful idea. You know, you gave me, and I'm going to do the same because I think there's nothing better than to offer a wine subscription to someone. I mean, how much fun. Yeah, and then that way I can share the love with everyone I know and the joy. Mwah. Well, and who doesn't need a little more joy in their wine life? This has been a challenging year for everyone. And I think the idea of popping a cork to shake off the cares of the day and, and try to really refocus on what's important, which is of course, you know, people, which is the people in our circle, the people in our friends, the, our family, and to go out and meet new people, finding new ways to do that when our old patterns aren't available. You know, all of this is the, the spirit of joyfulness and of remembering the good things in life. That is so much what the Joie de Vie Wine Club is about. And thank you, Jean-Charles, for creating this new pathway for us to reach new people, to find new family and new friends, to join our Boisse family and enjoy with us some of the fruits of your labor. Well, it's so well said, Marnie, that the joy of wine is to hopefully appreciate it in moderation, of course, but every day. You know, it's, um, it's very exciting as it's Veterans Day. I'm reflecting on parents, grandparents, great-grandparents, and it's fascinating that my grandparents, who were all school teachers, would take a break at school teaching their students and everybody would eat. And the teachers or the adults who would accompany at the school would always have a glass of wine. And it was part of the diet in moderation, but part of, you know, what we always have as the joy of any dish, of any meal, to help you digest, to help you relax, to help you have a great time. It doesn't have to be big quantity, but it has to be your daily companion. So what we've created here, which I'm uh, overly excited about because I was looking at Melissa Lynch serving the Beaujolais Village. And I think this is the great idea to have, thanks to you, Marnie, beautiful selection, great curation and great seasons to really bring to everyone a glass of wine you feel not guilty to open every day because it doesn't necessarily break the bank or alter your cellar because Dr. Sanders, you have a beautiful cellar back there. 
And you don't want to dismantle those beautiful JCB gorgeous bottles always. But it's wine, you know, Marnie, that we have between, you know, 20 to $40 that you, you know, open the screw cap, open the glass top, pop the cork, and you can have it and you can keep it overnight and it's still great and it's daily wine enjoyment. So maybe we should ask Melissa what she thinks about that Beaujolais Village. Well, <clears throat> I love it. It is beautiful, but you know, I think it's interesting for a lot of us that have grown up around California wines. It's so, for me, one of the great joys that I've got to experience working with you, Jean-Charles, is learning more about French wines and the, <clears throat> the pure earthiness, the flavors that are in the uh, French wines are so different. So for me, Joie de Vie is a lot about discovery because I think we get stuck in our own world sometimes and opening up new worlds, uh, you know, whether it's through wine or through travel, which I love to do. That's one of my favorite mm -hmm. things, but right now we can't really do that. So even if it's you know, just enjoying a, a beautiful new wine like this. And I was going to ask Marnie or you, Jean-Charles, what are your favorite things to pair with Beaujolais? But I don't get the opportunity to drink it a lot. And I love it. It's, it's beautiful. I, I know Marnie's a big fan. And maybe we should actually, before we go to Marnie, go to Rajmin. Because Rajmin, you know, spices go so well with Beaujolais. So... I know, Rajmin, you love Beaujolais Village and Beaujolais wines. What do you think? Oh, I love them. I, you know, th there isn't a wine, a Boisset wine that I don't adore, but I love our French wines because they pair so beautifully with food. And, um, you know, during this pandemic, I've now started this new trend for, for myself and our family, and that is you know, cooking around the world. And of course, every meal is paired with a beautiful Boisse wine. But the Beaujolais is, is, is amazing. And, and I would love to pair that with some maybe beef bourguignon or just something that is just delightful in the, in the, in the palate, but amazing with the wine. What, what about any, any spice from India? Because I need to tell you, which is so exciting. We have so many great friends in the Indian community. And I'm thinking of a great friend of mine named Vikram who runs the Hale Kalani in Hawaii and La Mer restaurant. And I yeah. talked to him yesterday and he adores Beaujolais with Indian spices. Oh yes, oh yes, yes, absolutely. I, I mean, it would go perfect with a, with a, um, a curry, maybe a beef or a lamb curry. Yes, I can't wait to have mine. I will, I will send you a, a picture of the wine and food pairing, Jean Charles. We cannot wait to see. And I Thank you, Rashmi. You gave me my next uh, pairing idea. Oh, and, and another one that would be beautiful is, uh, is a Moroccan um, lamb dish that will go beautiful with the Beaujolais as well. So. so you've got my juices going, so thank you. Well, you got to share with us on yeah. this uh, Joie de Vie meeting fabulous place, mm. some of your world recipe, because between your world wine tour and your world cooking tour, I think it's such a great idea. Maybe we should go back to Travis because he's the expert of the sauces. So where would you go with that Beaujolais Village, Travis? Um, well, that's a really good question. I mean, I can tell you that the city that we live in, Denton, has a festival that is devoted to Beaujolais, which I know is the uh, Beaujolais Nouveau, but it does come from a nearby uh, neighborhood, if you will. <laughs> uh, and so that's where a lot of people in our town get to experience um, new, be introduced to new wines. Um, and it's a, it's a joyous occasion and we want to be able to duplicate that uh, with our friends so that we can introduce them to new wines as well. We and, like to call that know, Beaujolais and more. That's right, Beaujolais and <laughs> more. I love that. And, and Marnie could, could maybe extrapolate on this, but I recommend everybody, if you don't finish your bottle of Beaujolais Village, put it back in the fridge and a, a very big way to serve it in Europe specifically France, is to call it, we serve it chambre. Chambre is a term means 
quite cool, not cold, not on ice, but at a cooler temperature. And the French love it with, you know, um, pizzas or, you know, thin breads with a little goat cheese on it or, you know, ap appetizers because cool is very nice. And you mentioned those great dishes like beef bourguignon, Rajmi, it's phenomenal with it uh, all as well. So think about, you know, playing with the temperature of the wine sometimes Room temperature is very good for the Durand and Booth Cabernet. But the Beaujolais Village, personally, I would love it a little cooler. Because if you like lamb... I can drink mine at and... cellar temperature, Jean-Charles. Straight yeah. 55 out of wine storage is about perfect for Beaujolais for me. There are many people who like to chill Beaujolais, but I find that that's better for simpler. Beaujolais Nouveau is fine on ice, sort of like Rio Niti, so nice on ice, right? But when you get into higher quality Beaujolais, go from Beaujolais Nouveau to Beaujolais, from Beaujolais to Beaujolais Village, where we are now, the superior product of the 10 best villages that produce Beaujolais. This is something that gives us a little more expression of flavor. And so if it's sort of right out of the fridge, you can lose some of that nuance. But I will say on a pairings side that Rashmi is dead on. Anytime you have multiple spices coming together as flavoring ingredients, it could be curry, it could be Moroccan food, it could be um, German sausages. Anytime you have multiple different spices coming together in a rich environment, Beaujolais is absolutely spectacular. And that's one of the things that makes it so good with so many vegetarian cuisines, not just Indian cooking, but anytime you've got some lentils or some squash or some eggplant or something that's being jazzed up with a bunch of seasonings, you really do find a great place for Beaujolais. And the other flavors that it does so brilliantly are, of course, very familiar to those of you from Burgundy, like you, Jean-Charles, onions and garlic. If there's onions and garlic in the dish, chances are the Beaujolais will taste divine. Well, maybe we should go to Patrick and tell us as a newlywed, because Patrick got married between the fires, between the flames. <laughs> Just before the fires. <laughs> what does joie de vie symbolize to you as a newlywed? Because we could tell you, you went uphill for the wedding and we hope you stay there because downhill is not that good. <laughs> <laughs> we're waiting. We're waiting on pins and needles for the downhill, but we hope so far it's only uphill. The joie de vie is the you know you know that fabulous feeling of relaxation when you know everything is perfect. That's joie de vie, and that's that's it's been a month of marriage. This is this is life so far. So we're we're toasting joie de vie. We're practicing as you as you said, Jean Charles. Every day we practice with a beautiful bottle of wine. And that, that must be the magical secret to keep us joining a happy life. Happy wife, happy life. I think it's really the bottle of wine every day. That's right. <laughs> wow, that's great advice. <laughs> who, who would agree with that? Oh, I think every oh. woman on the call. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. And um, Now, one more I mean, thing, Jean-Charles. We have, for the month of November, selected a special wine for Thanksgiving, and sometimes our unexpected wines, our monthly wines that are thrown in with our white and red in the joie de vie selection will be around a major holiday. So, for example, you can expect some bubbles for December to be celebrating your New Year's Eve and, and something a little romantic in the box for Valentine's Day come February, but occasionally we'll come across a month where there isn't a special wine worthy occasion and where we'll have different kinds of ideas of what to pair. For example, I was looking at the month of January and all I could think of was all of my friends every year who roll around with that kind of um, almost self-righteous dry January. So I decided we would celebrate with dry wine for dry January. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Love it. I do a mean turkey breast. Moroccan turkey breast. So I can't wait to pair that Beaujolais with my Moroc with my turkey breast. What are you cooking with your turkey breast? I do it with uh, Moroccan spices. And so I just do the breast itself, you know, the both sides. You uh -huh. know, the <laughs> wow. Uh, and I, I actually do, always work with best with two. I do the dry rub <laughs> for about three days and then roast it. 
So I'm not going to have, to have it with something like a Pinot Noir, but I'm excited to try it with that Beaujolais Lay. As a matter of fact, on good faith, when I placed my first order, I ordered extra Beaujolais. <laughs> Love it. Nice. We know where to go. Yeah. Think it ahead. Talk on that. <laughs> Don't let me have any more wine because I will teach everyone how to say Beaujolais. I think we should thank everyone for joining us. This has been a, a tremendously joyful experience on a, you know, this is a, a midweek, you know, it's a Wednesday night. It's, it's a time of year where the sun is going down too early and we're feeling a little isolated in our homes, but to be able to join with you live together on Facebook, wherever you are across the country and to celebrate a little joy in your wine life has been a real treat. So we hope you'll consider our new Joie de Vie Wine Club. Check it out online at joiedevwine.com. And we'll hope to see you in our private members Facebook group. Do you have a sign off message, Jean-Charles, for those who are interested in Joie de Vie? Well, I think you said it beautifully, and I'm delighted we have so many friends as well with us tonight from the East Coast and the central part of the country. I think what is so exciting is wine unites us. That's the most important message I think we need to send to ourselves here, here. on this amazing historical day. This is so thrilling to be able to celebrate all the people who brings the world as one who thinks about celebrating and who thinks about exchanging ideas and having a great time together. So I really want to raise my glass of what's remaining because my bottle of Duran and Booth is Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Jean-Charles and Marnie, we, we, we can't let our friends go. You see, we brought little Jean-Charles with us because he has a song for everybody. <laughs> and we can't let everybody go who's now a member of the Joie de Vie family without learning the secret. One of the best parts of Joie de Vie is access to our sellers, access to our family, access to our friendship. And we all know there's a song that goes with it. So I figure we can't leave if we don't all sing the song together. Right? It should be the ritual, I agree. One, two, three. All right. Oh my gosh. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. This Bye. is first Friday. Bye. Bye. First Fridays at 4 Pacific. Wine socials with Joie de Vie. Joie de Vie. Cheers, Carol.